Hi there. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to reset a Mac password if you've forgotten it. Now, in this case, this is my Mac Pro. Um, I haven't used it for a couple of months now, and um, it's been sitting here, and unfortunately, I've forgotten the password. So I'll just show you, demonstrate that that is indeed the case. So I'm just going to power it up here. And uh, let me first apologize for the glare that you're seeing off the screen. Um, I'll try to correct that as much as I could, but uh, it was unsuccessful. So here we are, we're just starting up the, uh, the Mac window, and we have the screen. I try to type in my password here, my typical password that I use, and it won't accept it. So I try it again, I try another one that I typically use, again, that doesn't work. I try another one, again, it doesn't work. It gives me a hint, and uh, you know what? That doesn't work either. All right, so being that doesn't work, we're going to uh, reset this password manually. Um, there's a couple of different ways of doing it. One requires you to have the uh, CD. The other one um, doesn't require a CD or a, or a boot drive. So in this case, this is really the best way to do it um, if you don't have that media on hand. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And the way that we do that is first we're going to restart the machine. And as we're restarting it, we're going to be holding down the Command and S key. So I'll go ahead and press Command and S. I'll hit the Restart button, and we'll just restart this now. So once it restarts, what's going to happen is it's going to open up a single-user uh, terminal window. So this is a single-user mode, um, meaning that it would basically be um, just a, a limited access. So we've gone ahead, and we're now at the, um, the Command Prompt where it says slash root and pound symbol. What we're then going to do is we're going to have to check the file system. So we're going to type in fsck space hyphen fy and we press return. That's going to then check the system. Once that's done, we're then going to have to mount the drive um, and we're going to have to make it root. Uh, sorry, we're going to have to make it uh, writable. So we're already um, in the root user. So it's just a matter of um, going ahead and uh, assigning those permissions. It's coming back here and it's saying the volume Mac HDD, which is the drive label that I named it, um, and it's saying it appears to be okay. So let's go ahead and do the next command. Excuse the background noise, sorry about that. So I've just typed in the command mount space dash u w and then forward slash. That is now mounted the file system and now what we're going to do is we're going to remove a file so we're going to type in rm space forward slash var slash db slash dot apple set up done. Once we've done that we're going to press enter Oh, sorry about that. I mistyped. I forgot the dot. Wait. Okay. For some reason, my dot key is not working. There we go. Okay, so we've gone ahead and removed the dot apple setup done file. Once we've done that, we're going to reboot the um, computer. We're going to type in reboot and then press enter. That's now going to reboot the system. That is basically all the hard work we're going to do when it comes to the command line. So, um, we're then going to continue on this, and we're going to look at how to set up the, uh, the user account within the GUI interface. So we'll see once this comes up. It's basically the regular setup screen. So we're going to go ahead and uh, select our uh, country. It's going to detect the Wi-Fi signals in the area. Go ahead and select the, the one that I want there. And basically, if you've if you've ever set up a, a Mac before, this is the exact same process that you go through um, <clears throat> when you're installing your your uh, your operating system. 
So it asks, do I want a transformation to this Mac? I'm going to say, I don't transfer anything right now. I'm going to type in my map, my Apple ID. Now, um, I'm not sure if I remember that. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, type that in here. Okay, and it's saying it's the information is not correct, so it's then going to ask me to register. I'm going to skip through that if I can. Yep, there we go. So it's asking me for basically the computer configuration information. So I'll go ahead and uh, type that information in here. Give it a password. And continue. Okay, it requires a uh, password hint. Once we've done that, the user account is then going to be created. Okay, so this is going to take a little while. Just give it a, give it some time. Okay, now pick your time zone. And now we're in. So this is uh, this is the Lion OS. Now you'll see there's two users. Um, one user is the one that I just created. So here we are, we're in the system. We can sign into iCloud if we wanted to. And what we're then going to do is we're actually going to be um, going into the system preferences and then into the, uh, the user accounts. And then we'll see the other accounts that are listed there. So the first thing we need to do is unlock this feature. Once we unlock it, then we can click on the user. Once we click on the user, um, we can either change that password. So I'll go and reset the password, and I'll type in a new password. Get rid of the hint area, and reset the password. Now that the password's, password has been reset, we can then uh, lock that back up. Close the user or close the uh, panel and then restart the system. That's basically it. What we've done is we've gone ahead and uh, created a new user. We've, we've removed the settings for the previous user. We've created a new user, assigned that user root or administrative privileges, and then went into the OS, went into the system, the GUI interface that we typically used to, and then we're going to either remove that user or change the user. In this case, I changed the user. So the user that I changed was the baseball one that we, that we had before. And we'll just go ahead and log into that user. That's asking me, um, the system was unable to unlock your uh, login keychain. So it asked me if I want to update the password or create one. In this case, I'm going to update it. And I'm going to type in the password. Let's try it again. Go back actually. There we go. Okay, so we we're able to enter into the system, and this is now the desktop for the previous user. So um, the other user that I had created basically on the fly, we can get rid of. So we'll just go into the user and accounts. We unlock it, type in the password, and now we can get rid of that user that we created earlier. So we can either uh, delete the user. Or, again, we can change that password and have two users available.
Okay, once you've done that, then you can lock up the lock up the account, or sorry, lock up the screen. And the final step is to restart once more. And now we're back to a full-fledged system that you have access to and uh, no problems whatsoever. You haven't lost any data because you're able to retain that information and you're now able to get into the machine. If you have any questions about this video, please do post it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Again, I do apologize for the background noise um, and the glare on the screen, but uh, hopefully this video was helpful to you. And uh, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.